guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. So tonight I am making Yorkshire pudding as today is National Yorkshire Pudding Day. So I have a beef roast in the crock pot. I know you're really supposed to roast it in the oven, but I put it in the crock pot with its vegetables. Yorkshire pudding is super, 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 super simple. It is flour, eggs, a little bit of salt and milk, and you cook them away. So let's get started on the ingredients and get them blended. All right, so we are going to put one and a quarter cup of flour. You don't have to use a food processor, you can use a blender. My blender is too small for this, so that's why I'm using the food processor. I have the oven preheating to 425 degrees. A half a teaspoon of coarse salt. It is going to be one and a half cups of milk and four eggs. I do have the eggs already cracked inside of the milk, just so I didn't waste time showing you guys how to crack an egg. So now we're going to give this a good blend. I just wanna take a peek to make sure everything's incorporated. I'm going to give it one little more zhuzh. All right. I'm actually going to scrape the bottom just to make sure that there's no flour in there. And one final little blend. All right, so this mix is going to sit for a half hour before we even cook it. So, see you in a half hour. Since the dough is resting, or the mixture, I just wanted to show a couple pictures showing that I seared the meat before I put it in the crock pot, and I also seared the vegetables for the roast. All right, now that we have about five more minutes for the Yorkshire pudding dough to rest, I have four tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to split it between the six muffin pan tins. And you really kind of want it to coat the bottom. This recipe does do for six servings. Traditionally, you would use beef fat drippings, but I'm not. All right. So now we're gonna add this to the oven so the oil in the pans get nice and hot. All right, those are gonna go into almost the smoking point of the oil. All right, so we're gonna pull this out. And we're going to pour the batter three quarters of the way up. You can hear the sizzle. Reminds me of a very thin pancake batter. And you want to make sure this is the second to the top rack. So we're going to go back in for about 20, 15 to 20 minutes until the tops get nice and golden brown. They're going to poof up like a souffle would. So it has been 20 minutes. They are nice and golden brown. And these are Yorkshire pudding. bring you guys up a little closer. So they're not a biscuit, it's not bread, it's just deliciousness and it's delicious with gravy and beef. So that's what we're gonna serve it with. 